Okay, welcome everybody. Um, not many people know me. I'm already 17 years in business and technology. Um, this is my third startup. So uh, some people call me Mike. My real name is Jack Raman. So, um, I leave maybe some background of myself. Uh, born in Indonesia. Father from Singapore, mother from Malaysia, uh, nationality now British, and also my family wife here from Jakarta, and my daughter born in Jakarta. I live in UK and everywhere, but uh, uh, most of the time either UK or Jakarta. Um, so about my experience, uh, I'm a maths guy, I'm a mathematician. Um, I declare as a, as a mathematics because I like mathematics since school. So, because uh, my marks always 149. No? Uh, that's true story. And I, I learned first electronics engineering from UK, um, UMIS, rival of MIT during my time. And then uh, computer science. Um, to Imperial College and Mathematics. And then, um, not enough, I, I do uh, Financial Mathematics in LSE. So when I, and I went to some industries, I was involved in the mid-90s after graduated, I, I was in Motorola. That time, uh, we are talking about the 3G project. I said, uh, and uh, when I was 1996, it, in UK, uh, before Pentium 2, I already learned how to build the Pentium 2. So I'm thankful to my industries, very advanced. So uh, then I started my startup when I was 27 um, as electronic and, and, and mathematics. I built a protocol. Uh, at that time, uh, we built what we call now. Internet of Things. That's my start, my first product. Uh, then uh, we make some good money, ten million dollar after few years. And then I I venture into Middle East and Europe, uh, where I evolved from Internet of Things, high speed broadband, and uh, doing some electric. Electric vehicle to build project. I'm close to some Royce family in Dubai, UAE, where I, the company, we made some good fortune, more than fifty million dollar, seven years ago. So after that, uh, I took, like not a rest, start looking into a new technology. Uh, I'm good in actually myself, and we built a team last time, fifteen years ago, in building. Uh, a new protocol. Yeah, I'm very good in protocol. I'm embedded hardware and software guy. And then the 15, more than 15 years in business, so I really hands on. And sometimes I also talk for the startup. So, uh, Skip Tech Corporation uh, is my company. I'm the founder and investor. So far, we have invested more than $2 million. And we started the project 2017. So what is the project basically? We are building and hoping to build a new internet. That is actually our big aim. Everybody knows that we only have one internet, 1960s from TCP IP, and then we only have one internet, and you only know that triple W. Yeah? So, the hypertext hyper protocol, so that is everything we are using, but nobody knows what we are facing a problem. So, okay, so today, um, what I, I would like to, to, to show, uh, as I said, we are talking about a story. Okay, for what to say, uh, I'll also introduce my partner, Mr. Park from Korea, Park Tae Hoon. Uh, oh, yeah, Mr. Park. So Mr. Park is very, very ambitious and believe to my dream, the company dream. So we are also after this uh, talk, we will have a small MOU. Uh, 
uh, that it will be the first step for Skipjack working in Korea uh, regarding on this new technology. What actually the product we will share. So uh, then uh, I have Mr. Nigel as my new brand director. I have my CEO, Paulius, work from from uh, I think uh, some industries of advertisement, very good in marketing and advertisement. He based in Europe. So basically, uh, Skipjack. Uh, last time we have a full office, uh, but now we are running mostly remote, like Telegram. So we have less than 20 engineers. I'm the chief scientist, also the CEO. Um, so, and we are now start growing the, the team. Okay, uh, what we are telling now, or what we invite today, today we are launching our closed beta Adoy. So Adoy is actually, uh, how many words? Adoy, ouch. Why, why I picked this name? When it, when early 90s, when I was in UK, I revealed uh, a, a bit the secret of myself. Because I, I learned electronics, I became one of the among top hackers in 1996. So, and at the time, we also played with IRC at alamat.com, which is in Singapore. It's a US company, but to alamat name. So because of that chat, I did a lot of hacking. Long, long time. So some people said that I was one of the inventor of the credit card numbers, blah, blah, blah. Uh, how we cracked, so because I was a student, we learned, we don't have bad intention. So that was my skill. Okay, uh, so that's what, when I started a product, I think, let's make it Adoy. And Adoy is a universal platform. It's not about only chat. You have WeChat. WeChat is about chat and payment. You have also uh, WhatsApp, but uh, now we are thinking that Adoy will be a new chat, payment, and internet, a platform. So I will explain that. But where can I declare this chat or Adoy will be there? We will be if WhatsApp is is American, I guess, and uh, Line is Japan, and Kakao Talk is Korea. Most probably we will make Adobe will be as a single corporate, like Red. You know? So, okay, what we are uh, launching today is closed beta. What different with Adobe? Number one, very simple. We are running Adobe in the different protocol, not the same as what you use a voice protocol. We created our own protocol, and it cannot be hacked, it cannot be blocked in any government. We are very, very confident. So uh, actually, we plan also to show you how good the quality of Adobe uh, in terms of call and video. So there is only a small features that we are building. So maybe after I talk, I do. I will call uh, my guy in Dubai and also my chief engineers in Manila using Adobe. Video is very good. You can try on WhatsApp. It's very, very suck. You know. Sorry, my word. So, uh, so we are not about that. We know that some countries blocking your calls, Dubai, even China only do chat. But we are ensure that you can penetrate. Not we are going to to compete, but we want to run the service, good service and very cheap. So fast, cheap and secure. That is our our main uh, plan. So today we launch Adobe.io. Um, and what we are putting in our website, so this is my chief marketing officer, Puri, not me. So he said that disrupting telecommunication. I don't like disrupting words, but I don't know why my marketing team like to use that. So, but I think people can say we are going to disrupt the new telco and also the new internet and, and banking. So why we are talking about bringing data back to people? So this is where we are going to change the world. Uh, I think today you will learn a lot of things. Uh, I try to cut short my, my presentation less than one hour. Uh, all right, so there's nothing interesting about chat. Everybody knows chat, Skype, UIV, and uh, talking about text and many more. So I think we are doing something different. 
And uh, what we are putting in our web today, we are talking about calling to people in Saudi. So we know Saudi, UAE, you can make calls. So this is what we have gone through. They said they can block. If you run VPN, they can block. All right, so we are not running VPN. We are creating our own encryption protocol. We are running on our generation to encrypt block, which I will share later. Um, so that is part of my university program, basically. It's about the mathematics. Um, so talking call in China, so we can call in China. We can guarantee you we can enter China. So hopefully one day, we don't want to say big, but uh, we believe that we welcome if any government try to block us. But we are currently more than 100% confident no one can hack and no one can block us. I will tell you what is the secret that we have. So as I said, I'm a mathematician. So we talk about facts and figure. All right, uh, so even uh, we don't want to say pornography or nude, anything, you know. But uh, anything we can send is actually a figure. But of course, although if we run, we still follow whatever the country and rules and um, the guidelines that we don't want to to uh, not to follow all, all, all the, the government's sensitivity. Uh, but about the technology, this is what we can do. You know? So why? Because I have many friends in Dubai. They cannot call expensive. Uh, I think DU, Dubai Telecom, charge 50 Dubai, right? Uh, 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 about 12 dollars for VIP. And they block WhatsApp, they block Skype, and many more. So just now, after this, I will show that we will call Dubai. And even someone said, okay, maybe you run the operation next month, they will block. Okay, they can try because we make sure that no one can block. All right. Okay, uh, so basically, in Adoy, it's about chat, it's about content. So um, right now, you see an X, but we have intention, which I work with Mr. Park. Hopefully, Mr. Park bring me to Samsung. Next year, we come out with our own OS, like Android, where we are turning Adoy as Android, or new Android, what we call DOZ. Uh, this all new terms, new jargon today, you will learn that we created. Uh, so, voice over ZNN is part of the technology which I explain later, where you don't, you are, you don't need a SIM card anymore to call anybody. Why you must have a SIM card? Why you have to call and must have a SIM card? Why not? We don't need a SIM card. So this is what we are going to do for Adoy. So uh, so let me go. And then the, about talking about uh, a communication of freedom to everybody and cheap. Okay, um, so this is what you can see the content of the website that we have. So in Adoy, like Reddit, maybe you have used Reddit, a content. So we will have our own content. We will have our own social media coming soon by quarter three or quarter four. So in Adoy, we'll have your banks, your payment, your call, your, your uh, what do you call, the content like Facebook or YouTube or Instagram. Which one you like, we, will, we, we are developing right now. So what uh, today you can see Adoy, from tonight, you can make calls. So we have uh, some volunteers already we use, and right now uh, uh, we are running on different protocols. Okay, so uh, have you called? So uh, I, Muse is my 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 merchant partner in, in Malaysia who wants to to market the product in Malaysia and in Malaysia because they see maybe I do get popular in. in in Indonesia because it's the uh, Malay sounds, you know. So, but I, I like my European partner also can say Adoy, you know. All right. Uh, so you can go to the website uh, to download Adoy. Uh, in next three weeks, we'll be in the Play Store, and uh, we also don't want, don't don't hope that to depend every time in Play Store. Maybe we can create our own. So, but uh, you can start getting uh, in the Play Store. I think by June will be the iOS. Alright, uh, okay, um, I try to make the call first uh, to, to show. I 
ऐसा हेलो हेलो
store the data when you need, you just found the data will come to you. So this is a new technology that we built in our new mathematical algorithm. And uh, it will change how we will live and work in the next two years. Alright, so this is part of the, the, <coughs> the technology that I can say. I hope everybody will love to, to, to learn. I will, will, will talk about a history. If someone goes in blockchain, anybody in blockchain, can you tell me what is the crypto card? Cryptography means. What is the meaning of the cryptography? And what is the meaning of the encryption? So this is what I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, uh, like a lecture. So basically, uh, we are talking about not a love story. So you see, the algorithm we built is solving some part of the world's problem on mathematical theory of everything. The Stephen Hawking okay life to talk about this. So I will share the knowledge of what we are building. So maths is boring. And uh, what we know from the Nimrod, from the Egypt, you know about cryptography. Those who use blockchain, this is what you are using now. This is what you are using now. You are using the cryptography in the blockchain SHA 256, secure hash algorithm 256. So it derived from this one, cryptography. This is how the history evolved. And the encryption, the encryption is about what is the meaning of the encryption. It's a secret key, which I can say in the cryptography, or sorry, in the blockchain, they don't have, do not have the encryption. They only have a bottle three protocol, secure hash algorithm to transmit information or message. But they are not encrypted like you have HTTPS in your internet now. So basically, this encryption started by Julius Caesar, and then it came to Enigma. I like Nazi, because Nazi invented Enigma, the new encryption. And then the American and British couldn't crack until they got the scientists to learn. So then comes to what we have. You have your phone now, and to end encryption, you have everybody because three guys, the student on the left, Merkel, so D.P. Hellman. So D.P. Hellman is a scientist, maybe like me, I'm a scientist. So he built the mathematician, a modern encryption, what we call D.P. Hellman key exchange. Without him, you don't have your code, you don't have your aeroplane, you don't have anything. You are back to the old age. So basically, thankful for, to this guy, and because of him, we have internet. What I call 1.0. Based on RSA and DP Helmet base. So, this is what the technology has been built a long time ago. And it was started internet by Alphanet. And then Alphanet. <coughs> and then it commercial by 1989. And what I am saying today, this is the. I'm a speaker for FinTech last year. This, I will be a speaker keynote for Blockchain Summit London this June and hopefully in Web Summit like, um, Lisbon this November about a new technology that we built. So what we are going to show today, a ZetaNet. A ZetaNet is the name of a new internet coming soon. In next two years, by quarter one, 2021, we launch a ZetaNet. What is the different ZetaNet? It's the infinite internet. Your internet is dying, it's already old, 60 years. It's getting diabetes. Heart attack. Yes, yeah, true. It's a, like a climate change problem. I was involved in climate change in United Nations before. So we are talking about a problem of data overloading in your internet. Imagine if it's die in the next five years, you maybe hope, hopefully your blockchain is work. But I can say that some also need to be improved in the blockchain network. So basically we are talking about the network design. Okay, super entry block is our protocol, it's my design. So uh, some people say I like Satoshi Nakamoto. Yes, I understand how they built the blockchain. I can tell you what is inside. But uh, let's talk about the internet. I like the internet. So we have internet. Nobody knows. Uh, some people thought, oh, Google built internet. Young people, you know, when I ask who built the internet. So the father of internet one is Vincent. Uh, uh, sorry, Vincent Robert Kahn. 
he built the TCP/IP, the one that you use every day, TCP/IP. And this is also what the Satoshi Nakamoto built the the blockchain on the the DApps, right? Uh, on to work like TCP/IP. This is what the community is trying to to improve. So we are coming also in blockchain community to improve, which uh, I'll share later. So then we have certain bonus Lee. He created the hypertext protocol. You have the internet. Okay, so now, if you go to Jakarta, every minister is all talking about the unicorn, talking about the industry 4.0. So what the hell you are talking about industry 4.0? What? What actually you are talking about the smart city? So if you don't see the problem, especially you are eating like this, but you have a diabetes inside. I am talking like that because I'm also a patient of diabetes, but uh, you know, I also don't control, but I believe the technology works for my body. So basically, the fourth industrial revolution we're talking about from the steam engine, electricity, um, automation, computers, and now we're talking about the data, industry 4.0. This is the biggest where you can make a lot of money in terms of business and a new technology coming up. But do you think this can grow? My question, in the next 10, 20 years, what do you think it can grow or not is this industry 4.0? You are happy talking about blockchain, talking about AI, talking about data, and many, many, many more. So basically, you are talking about a party to have many cookies, many cakes, but you have a, a, a problem. This is true. I don't lie. This will happen. If they don't change, the internet will stop five, ten years from now. You can see how the data move very, very fast. So I also can imagine when I started on the data project in 20 years ago, now it's changed very fast. So that's what I am putting in right drawing board to change uh, the match. So we're talking about 2.5 quintillion, I don't know how many zeros, you can check in Wikipedia. And this is the problem, data overload. Data overload meaning that you have a blood sugar. Very simple, in your network, it's a blood sugar. So data overload is any time you get your diabetes and die. Yeah? So that's because I said, our internet is too old, 60 years, it's already under. Yeah? So, now everybody has two phones, three informal phones, hide from the wife. And you are, one guy can have 100 group WhatsApp. What actually you are making? You are making 100 trillion message active user a month. Times 10 months. How many zeros basically you are making? How can we build? It's actually you are getting more and more data and this company don't care, they just flood the data and want them to make money. Uh, so we are very proud because these people make billionaires. So basically billionaires, I said this is the people who have the, the highest debt because our money is debt. So this is what the encrypted problem and let we talk about the vocabulary. So maybe someone do not know the vocabulary. So you can see from kilobyte, megabyte, now where are we? We are at 21 zettabyte, nobody knows. Telco feeding you all by data and by data. 21 zeros. But when we can go to geobyte, 30 zeros. Another 100 years, another 50 years, another 10 years. Can the zeros become 1 trillion zeros? My question. Can the zeros become 1,000 zeros? How you encrypt? My question. So, uh, so this is what we are going to break the formula. I'll share with you. All right. Uh, now, Internet of Things. This is what I like. I built 1998 when I, I finished my studies. Uh, the kettle talking to the rice cooker. The, the refrigerator talk to your lamp. So the protocol which I built. I one of the pioneer in Internet of Things in uh, late 90s. We built with the Opera, Open Project Research, and Hope Park, Hope Park Alliance, and many more. Until 2007, Obama announced a smart grid, smart city by IBM. Finally, every like to talk, even the governor like to talk smart city. But we don't know what the effect, how it's going to, to be happened. Next year, 50 billion device connected like this Samsung watch, right? So basically, I can check your toilet lamp every second if I'm in London to use your house in Singapore. So basically, that is how the Internet of Things. I work on the electric vehicle to beat B2G project in Amsterdam. How the electric car runs, like Tesla. You like to do, but you know, 
You need this. You need the 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 the, the, uh, the highway for the data. So basically, what happened if the whole world connected to the Internet of Things? You are dying because the internet data right now we only have about about 500 me, uh, 1 billion data so basically uh, internet of things is 50 billion device times 10 data we're talking about 500 billions even trillions can your internet sustain you are happy with 4, 4 g to 5g the same story man the next five years it will be crap it's all only shifting the, the gigahertz 3.4 gigahertz I'm an electronic engineer in Motorola a long time ago. So, so this is what we are also talking. All the Singapore fintech like to talk fintech and fintech uh, blockchain. You are producing more data. So basically, I work in the climate change. You're talking about the power plant produce coal fire, you know. So basically, the same problem. The United Nations every day talk the same topic, and the next generation internet uh, also having the same. The same problem, they can't solve yet, but we believe we found the formula. It's not only the theory, it's only practical, it's only in the product. So now software is hitting the world. Big tech, big tech, fintech, everybody wants to do fintech. The government wants to get fintech worried. The bank will be closed down because of uh, disrupt, disruptive technology. So uh, what we built, the new infrastructure, Secure, fast, cheap, and what we are missing is that our technology right now that we are so proud is actually like this. This is our technology that you proud with the 5G, with the blockchain, with anything, data, AI. This is what you have. So maybe some people disagree. I will explain. Internet of the past, you see this. Internet of today. Machine learning, all this consume more data, and then talking about just now, say about 50 billion. So we can't solve the problem. Zettabyte before we go to your tabyte. So, uh, so let's learn some algebra. Very basic, fundamental. You talk about technology. Some crypto guy from Korea, very smart, said, "I have many patterns. I ask very simple. Can you explain? Nah, it's just on the surface. So let we learn." The technology. I'm also investors. I don't want to be uh, cheated by some startup, you know, when talk about technology. So basically, I explain the fundamentals. So, tuna is expensive. Again, okay. So, fundamental algebra. What we have came from seventh century. Algorithm, what we call algorithm, and I become algebra. This is our modern science. This guy gives us rocket. Give us Tesla and give us anything. So this, this is what we call. So now look at your surrounding. What you can see? God created three things. Okay, I start opening my formula. So we observe the universe. You see, this is a star, a galaxy. Basically, is a network of the networks. Ripple CEO said network of the networks. So this is a network of networks. So what is the difference, the God network, with your current internet network or telephone network? Can you spot the difference? Have you seen any difference? Okay, so what the, this guy who founded before, before Newton, Newton's law, Galileo, is the universe Maths is the language of the universe. And maths is also the word of God. Some people who read Bible writing, they believe that. Okay, so who is the man behind the maths? I will say I'm one of the, the, the men behind the maths. Okay, so what is the fundamental of the mathematics that we built before we talk about product? So you look at your snail. So you can see snail. You see your finger, your ears, your eye. You look again at your star. You look everything. You can see YouTube. What have in common? So this is how we start to break. So completely different properties, same pattern. But can I say that every this pattern have encryption? Have encryption. So basically, we live from Adams and now. All have different different thumbprint. 
This is all encrypted in many trillions of series, which the scientist has not found this formula thousand years until now. But I, as uh, one of can say scientists, I believe uh, Nikola Tesla find this formula, but he died. All right. So what I will say, this will be our base of a new technology that we are implement uh, with the new encryption algorithm. And uh, if you learn Fibonacci, what well, now we rebrand as Zeta series. We don't call Fibonacci. He died a long time ago. So we improve the Fibonacci mathematics to become the decoding Fibonacci, what we call a Zeta series. What Fibonacci don't see in the series, there is the encryption. Which I think uh, maybe it's too hard to understand. But uh, what we will apply with the same design, if you got that created same design, different material and property, can you use the same formula? But can you build uh, a formula to do a same secret recipe in KFC and Coca-Cola and all right? Different formula, but what develop the same formula, the same mathematics, different material, property, light and matter. This is what we found and after we uh, I did some research, I have to take some long rest. So basically, we believe God created with the one formula. Do you think the God created many thousand millions of formula? You know? No. So only one formula, different light and matter. Same formula in galaxy, stone. Same formula, finger, different, different flesh. So DNA, all the same. So we only borrow this formula to put into the network. It's very simple. It's a royalty free. Is it? Alright, so what is the mass that uh, I think I, I just showed the mass. Uh, you can see E equal MC square. You know E equal MC square. This is like E equal MC square. The E equal MC square also derived from this formula. It's everything is the same. How you can build the atom. So with this formula, it's not about internet. In future, you watch the Alita movie, the cyborg, like human, we can build the same. Maybe in the next 5, 10 years, 100 years, people take this formula to build cyborg. Why? Because we can do a medical technology, make your, your, your semiconductor like cell membrane, putting in this algorithm, and you will look like a superhuman. Okay, I don't talk about robots, I like robots. But, I'm talking with this formula, we start to build the communication. Okay, that's what you can see. This formula is inside IDOI, inside our product. You cannot see, but it's all the mass. So basically, we say it's uncrackable. Why? All right, very simple. I'll show you. Cannot be hacked. Call any hackers. I was also one of the, the retired hackers 20 years ago. So it cannot be cracked. The reason, I give you a reason. Okay, so basically, in any Fibonacci series, if you learn, there's a golden ratio. But what is golden ratio? Is the secret key. When you do an encryption transmission of data, you need to encrypt when you must have a common secret key. So this secret key lies even into your eyes and everywhere. There's a God secret key. It's actually a encryption and part of theory of everything. I hope I can meet again the new Stephen Hawking, you know? All right, so this is what the Stephen Hawking, this is what the algorithm, this is what inside us, universe and everywhere. So this is the concept I just explained. So this is how our world was created by the pixel of the God. And they use the same formula and we decoding the formula and we make it a network. I don't want to use decentralized. The God not using decentralized. I don't use centralized. The God is not using centralized. The God don't have any ministers or cabinet. So this is what the God does. And we are decoding the Zeta series what we call. So basically, my question is that. So every data move inside here is all encrypted. So if imagine you have a data, let's say your data is 10 zeros. I am a billionaire and I have 12 zeros. But every 12 zeros currently can be encrypted by your DP Hellman key exchange based on 256 character. But how about your data moving more than 256 zeros? Can you encrypt? 
The current AES cannot be encrypted, but maybe some military or maybe Donald Trump have the, the, the algorithm or chipset that the yeah, nuclear cannot be encrypted up to 2,000 character, maybe by Intel. But if I ask, if I build 10,000 characters, 10,000 zeros, can you write 10,000 zeros, one and 10,000 zeros, and ask someone to track? Encrypt and decrypt. No hackers can do. Now we are talking about a star. Imagine this is your galaxy moving. So how billion years, trillion years of the galaxy moving? So the galaxy is your data. So basically, we mapping the algorithm. Uh, we are mapping the algorithm, and uh, it becomes network. So if you see, this is not the blockchain. This is not decentralized, this is based on Zeta series, it's based on your fingerprint, based on your based on Hello? Based on your the nature of law. In snails, in anything, in animals, even into the face of the tiger. Alright, so what we call the internet 2.0. So this is what the what of what we call in the 8D theory, the theory of everything of uh, Einstein and Stephen Hawking. So what I call now is evolution 1.0. So this technology we call it evolution 1.0. And let's we go on maps. You learn maps, and we have uh, Pythagoras. And until uh, uh, the recent, what you have the maps, what you use, it does 4.0. But the breakthrough that we make, then it become evolution 1.0. So the 1.0 will start from this year until next million and million years, we believe. So it's like a T and T plus one. So basically, this is how we build the technology, a product. So we can it the Jack's Law. It's like a Newton's Law. Jack's Law, we have a three fundamental rules. Newton's Law have a three fundamental. So basically, in Jack's Law, we increase the algorithm for the speed storage connectivity. Number two, the data do not have a storage. Can you imagine? You don't have a storage like aeroplane moving without stop. Is your atom stop parking? Do you have your your blood stop or you have uh, the star is stopping the movement or uh, electron? So this is the same. We are doing the concept. We change the protocol. We make the header. Wherever your data is there, you can call. I ask you, you buy data from your Singtel, you buy $10. You spend, finish. Do you know where your data go? Do you know the itinerary of your data going to where? Do you see that? And why before you use, you have to pay. So in our new new internet in future, you don't pay us upfront. You move the data, we'll charge you. It's like grab. So basically, this is uh, how we design the networks. And you can see the difference between the decentralized distributed and blockchain too to the computer networks that we build. So, and and because of this, why we can increase the speed. And uh, we don't need the Google in future. You don't need Google. Why must you store a data? Your data keep running your fiber, your satellite, satellite link and anywhere, you know? So, you need, then you call your data. So, problems, what we solve, we observe voice problem, cost, quality, and uh, you know, uh, everybody want to use WhatsApp cheaper, but it's, it's very bad, you know? And uh, talking about data leaks issue with the government, Facebook, and now who is in blockchain issue of insecure, current digital currencies unregulated, and then efficiency of the system, especially in blockchain, and uh, some countries ban you, your service. So, uh, it's not free freedom, that's great. We have changed the game now. Uh, long transaction, uh, send money, uh, London, Singapore, three days clearing, I send. Uh, blockchain take you 25 minutes to one hour to clear. So we changed this game. Uh, what we are building, like uh, blockchain having scalability, consensus protocol. So basically we change. What we call blockchain 5.0 today that we launched is changing a blockchain into a new technology. Get a blockchain plan on top. 
like uh, you jump into one high speed train. So this is what the uh, the problems in the industries talking about visa. How much? How long your visa take process? Hundred billion transaction per year visa process, one year. And they are making eleven trillion dollars, and only must serve fifteen percent market. So why not we take this job? Because we can process the visa work one year to only two days. Because if we run at minimum 1 billion transactions per second, 42 billion transactions we can run on a day, and the next day we finish the work of visa. So this is actually the banks need us. That's why we build. So the banks don't need to use their own protocol. The, the protocol you use, SWIFT network and visa protocol is too, too, uh, too old, same like your internet. All right, so what are the solution? So we did with entry block. Today, this is my first talking about entry block. So what is entry block? Entry block is a global payment transaction technology we design to have cryptography and encryption to work like a visa, to work like a blockchain. Blockchain cannot work like a visa, visa cannot work like a blockchain, but we can work both, same function. You can run transaction without banks. You can run either banks, city bank. If you want to use, you can transmit. We did a demo uh, to the press last December. Two microsecond transaction. This is what we need. Sending money, like sending email. So this is what I, I tell you the technology. So basically, <coughs> this is based on our algorithm. One microsecond. And everybody can beat. Currently, we say we are the fastest. And uh, this is the entry block. Basically, we can settle the RTGS, the time for settlement. Bank can use us. No need the settlement bank. Three days giving you are already too much, giving JP Morgan too rich. You know, $50 trillion asset they have. So, why not uh, we share this uh, by supporting the entry block? You know? We can lower down the fees. I can charge you 0.01% if you are banks. Then you don't charge 5%, you charge only 0.5% is enough to any transaction. And one microsecond, sending money. You don't need JP Morgan as settlement. You know, with clearance and, uh, and, and many things, you know. So basically, every block is a technology to send data, or what they call Internet of Value, what Ripple call, or a blockchain called Internet of Value. So, uh, blockchain is trying to say more than 1 million transactions per second, basically, if you ask me to increase to 50 trillion per second also, it's possible based on our algorithm. We just put 1 million as a first benchmark. So basically, we are, I'm talking to banks. Of course, we are new guy. No one will listen to us. I talk to banks, uh, you are new guy. So next, I try my life in blockchain, something like that, where all the banks coming. I say, okay, you want to use blockchain, but you can try us for free. You see how we can transmit or transfer your money. So we have been, uh, currently we already have 50,000 users worldwide in this technology to transfer money. So, and also, we created, because of this technology like a blockchain, like a visa, we can, or we also created the new money, we call it the entry currency, not the cryptocurrency, uh, entry currency. So the entry currency uh, we call DIME, it's only one currency. So that's what we are planning, that the entry currency can be a major global currency, how? We break the formula, another financial formula. Who's, who's the banker here? Or the governor of Central Bank? Let's debate with me, you want to know? Because I also can talk about the theory of money. So basically, the active currency is another rival to the cryptocurrency. We are not popular, we just launched last year. So we have 50,000 users. So basically, we know theory of money. So how, how we break? We understand the Fed Reserve of theory of money, M0 to M4. So basically, we break the V. The velocity of money is what we are breaking to make that everybody can use and hopefully we can pick up a dominant, the, the, the dominant currency. How? You wake up every morning, you need food, water, internet. Right? If I put my new internet faster, cheap, secure, you must come to my internet. And every transaction in my internet, if I put my currency, what you can do? And if the government said, sorry guys, I cannot block you. 
So what you can, what they can do. So this is what we build. We don't want to challenge government, but uh, we are supporting to work with government. But but we are actually as a business, as a company, as a startup, we have a big dream. You know? So I'm not. A, uh, of course, I'm already 17 years. I'm already the, the old startup man. You know. So uh, so this is what uh, the invention we built. So uh, all right. So you can see the biggest money, 83 trillion dollar that we are using now. Circulation of money. So if you want to talk about financial, I'm also a financial guy. I can talk about the theory of money. So, okay. So what the difference I just mentioned, the entry block will be different with the blockchain and Visa. So basically, entry block can work like Visa. Entry block can work like blockchain. So blockchain can also jump into our network. No worries. We make interoperability. Even uh, we are not the uh, enemy, you know, we make friends. I'm small. You are already how much the market cap of blockchain now? More than uh, now come back more than hundred billion dollar after crash last few months last year. All right. So uh, this is uh, you cannot see. I couldn't sh uh, show them more, but uh, you can try. We can transmit that one microsecond. Uh, any block, either a digital currency or can work like swift network. I know banks don't like blockchain digital currency. I don't say, they said, uh, Bitcoin is not legal tender. They said many, many, many things. Okay, one thing that we can work like a real money, because we are like your codes, that's three cents money, is code, digital codes, right? You take $10 thing, goes in, put into your computer or banks, sending money, another 10, receive. So basically, you take the input. So we use the same thing. So if you don't like to use a digital currency of entry block, what we call entry currency or time, you can send codes to replace Replace uh, what do you call uh, uh, after visa Swift. Swift. Swift is based on X25 old technology. Take time. Hack problems. You can hack us. Hello. Three hundred years. You need to to find how to hack. Call IBM. I believe to do uh, hackathon. Yeah? So uh, so what we are building is that we build the ZetaNet protocol. You heard about TCP/IP. Uh, your internet is running TCP/IP, transport control protocol, internet protocol. That what we change. We change the algorithm. So basically, we like China, copycat. So we change. We change, and uh, this is our new project. That when we have the ZetaNet, can work into any interoperability of your software. Either you use Venmo, PayPal, Alipay, blockchain, it can work. We are making integration because. Do you like you have money you cannot send from Bitcoin blockchain to PayPal? It's not interoperability. You must send money, like send email anywhere. I am very soft in those such Singtel. I can send data anywhere, right? no barrier. So this is what you need to do have with the money. So this is what the fintech need to see. Uh, but this is what we are making uh, the fintech industry and banking industry change to another world. So data, money, goods we integrate and make. Uh, this is what your payment is, as a banks, blockchain, mobile payment, wallet, not connected. So we change the protocol that it will be read each other. This is what the project we're running now. And <coughs> this is your bank. Sequential process. Yeah? Okay, so we cut the middleman. We already. already. Yeah? Uh, sorry, JP Morgan. But this is what we are going to change that. The entry block will cut. And we only need a physical core network inside our entry block, like a brain, to communicate with all the network. Okay, so basically, this is what uh, we are also saying that in future, if someone said, my brother said, hey, can you do like a visa? Yes, you just put a brand, I give a technology, you run like a visa. Alright, so now how we are going to disrupt a visa and MasterCard? I will tell you this product, Adoi. You don't need a visa. When I said cross border payment, cross border merchant, I put one ten dollars below in Singapore, and if let's say I have billions of merchant, hopefully you know, so someone they like a Seven Eleven in Thailand can accept my payment. They can pick which one they want to accept, via crypto or our own money dime. So this is what why we can cross border because we are not on our own network, the entry block. All right, so this is what uh, we are uh, building. So this is what the visa, I think uh, you know about how visa works. And um, as I said, we want to make 
the send payment by send email. Yeah? And uh, this is already product, it's ready. But we now upgrading this technology, number one, to become an, a new ledger like a blockchain. So the any government can keep as a, as a ledger. And also, we are also improving uh, for the banks to use. And uh, this is uh, the system that we built. So this is what the technology I explained. And how we build into product. Just now you heard about technology. This is all the core. Yeah? Now, where is the product? So we build the product. So Adoy, as you said, today you just see the software apps Adoy. Yeah? Very simple. It's just to make a call, voice. By August or September, Adoy can start looking into GrabPay, Alipay, WeChat Pay, and many more because we cross border. And we need to have, of course, the team of merchants yeah, to build millions or millions of merchants globally. So, like I came to Singapore, I use GrabPay, but uh, GrabPay cannot be used here because I connect to the Indonesia government. Hey, sorry, Indonesia accounts. You see, I'm a user. It's all terrible because that night I want to, I want to eat uh, McDonald's. You see, they cannot send. So this is what we're going to change. And for merchant to enter into our uh, uh, merchant is just QR code. So QR code using this Adoy will disrupt your Visa and Mastercard. And we are also helping your 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 friends blockchain. So blockchain said they cannot. Why blockchain cannot use as a merchant? Because you don't have a policy. You got blocked by the government, right? So if we say that. You can use our highway because there is no toll, there is no police. You can run like autobahn. So basically, you can run into our network that it not be detected. So basically, any merchant can accept payment via crypto. So this is what we call a velocity of money. So any financial guy knows the theory of money, the inflation theory, right? So basically, uh, Alright, uh, we are combined into one platform I call Adoy is not an X. Adoy is a universal platform. Today you look like app, today I'm like an app, but you will change. So in the next six months, crypto people can start using Adoy if any merchant want to integrate to us so you can buy anything. So basically we are helping to increase the velocity of money inside crypto, maybe inside and then how we improve on the cross-border payment. So we can set money cross border like Western Union very fast. Uh, 0 0.05 or 0 0.01, 0 0.01 percent we can charge. Uh, we still make money because why you charge very, very, very low? We still make money because we want to grab a volume. I'm a money guy. I like money actually. So I don't have much money, but I made close to 100 million dollar before. So now I want to make more. So, so basically, this is the platform that we are going to build. And uh, Adoy is uh, encrypted. Today, if you use Adoy, it's all encrypted under our own encrypt block technology generation two. Can you call? Uh, can you use blockchain to make a call? No, right? We make the encrypt block as a data and voice video. We call it voice over Zeta Net. Okay, later I share you. So maybe you see, uh, you are some of venture capital, I deal with venture capital, you are not focused. No, we are focused. Uh, why we have so much? Maybe because some people said, I don't say very big, but some people said I'm a genius, but not genius because I see only three hours a day. So that's why I have 20 hours to design, to look into many things. So that's why if those who want to work with my engineers, they will resign after three months because they can't cope with the style of mine. Okay, and also I have my also uh, really crazy uh, chief marketing officer also, you know. He made my slide uh, the only 40 minutes, he throw all the my PR, PR work, you know. Uh, they are, so basically this is the, the, the protocol we built. we built. So basically the Agribot protocol generation 2 can replace the SIP voice protocol. So the telco can use us. So basically what the difference? Basically, basically, it's algorithm, protocol we build, can run everything. You heard about triple play last time? Voice, video, data, on the single network. Now, IPTV, all, 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 all the story is gone. But basically, it's like you have one 
platform and multiple service you can run. Okay, so the future of Hadoi, uh, we are working with Mr. Park to bring into Korea and hopefully one manufacturer in China or Korea will accept the idea to make new OS to replace Adoi, is to replace the Android, not replace, to be another alternative to Android or iOS. And with this phone, we want to create next year that you don't need a SIM card. If I can guarantee your voice is similar quality to your uh, twisted pair or your telephone lines, why must you use GSM? Through GSM. Why must 5G? This can be faster than 5G. Maybe you say 5G is fastest. Okay, fine. We'll see how fast this network. So basically, uh, this is the future of Adoi. It's not far. I think we will very fast. In the next six to nine months, we are going to... to, to, to well, not I have power is good in branding. So after June, he said, I will be famous. Mr. Kami will be famous. Hopefully, he's true. Okay, uh, so the backbone of technology is uh, basically... This is the backbone. So basically, this is a protocol when you said this data net is actually is your system of TCP IP. This is also to uh, blockchain can run on top. So they basically make your blockchain faster. You know, we can improve many things. So then you can make a call. So a voice over data net is actually the a new innovative improvement of VOIP. VOIP is there because WhatsApp is killing. But now I said we are not putting voice, our voice as WhatsApp. Because that is cheap, like you are putting a, a, a small car, no? So we are competing our voice over ZTNet with the GSM market. Every tower, we put a Wi-Fi tower. Every phone enable Wi-Fi. And then um, throw the SIM card. And then next two years, we have our own internet. Forget the IP, uh, Google search, you know? So we don't want to make a Google search. Any startup here can work with us to make another new Google. Google number two into the, the new ZTNet. So this is not this is the network uh, how it will build. It's actually now start running. And uh, what we define, we are will be what we call not a telco, ZTNet telco or ZCO. So what is a ZCO? It will be a telecom, telecom operator and banking operator. Banking is that I can send paper, I can get my wallet, I I request visa, and I also get send any communication on internet and content and call and video. So basically, all this in one simple technology, so we are not the app only. Today, you can see we are app. Uh, all right, so basically, uh, this is what we said. In next few, by next year, we are changing a lot. So um, we are, I don't have much money now, so we are raising also our own capital, but uh, I tell you, for past 17 years, I never take equity money. I run my business with my own money. Never borrow banks, I use my own money. If I have no money today, only one dollar left in my pocket, I will think how to make money. This is me. So, not, uh, I'm teaching some entrepreneurs how to do that way. So, in our plan, by June, we start open Adoy, we start attack. The country that not allow calls, Dubai, Saudi, China. We start entering. I offering you one dollar a month, but you cannot call right in Dubai. One dollar a month, call anywhere. But quality GSM. If you can throw your your Samsung pen, because next year a new BOZ phone will be coming. Hopefully this year we can make some good money. So we are start penetrating market the BOZ. So Mr. Park today signing MOU to commercialize the Ado and BOZ. Uh, hopefully, it's a part of the success to become a ZPO or Telco operator in Korea in the next few years from now, hopefully. Yeah? So we try to uh, to be that uh, services and then, the, as I said, we are expensive fish. So what we are moving now, the market is ready. FinTech is strong and we know where is where the, the, the holes that we can uh, enter and the AI and business model that we have social networking e-commerce in platform so basically uh, Adoy uh, will have social networking e-commerce uh, all this in the in the apps but if we manage to make the new Android coming soon next year 
So it will become all the services in our new Android. Hopefully it become true. Uh, so we know the competitors. So, so we are building the Mega app or the Mega OS. Um, so basically you cannot see whatever that I tell you about technology and your browser. You cannot see in your eyes. The formula you cannot see, but you can feel and use the, the apps and Okay, so basically, uh, to nice and expensive, buy a small piece. Uh, this is what we plan to enter market one dollar a month. You say, ah, oh, WhatsApp is free. Okay, use WhatsApp, but every token is you will cut off. Uh, you don't like, you can use GSM, but at least people in Dubai, seventy percent is India. Start jumping into this. You know, one million guys pay one dollars. So then you can give more premium. So if people in cryptocurrency like mining, we will run our uh, social media that we put the advertisement sharing revenue. So if I'm the admin of the WhatsApp, I don't have, I don't get any money. But if my channel can get 100,000 uh, channel uh, people, I get one advertiser in my channel. So then I can uh, do a sharing with. Uh, Admins or operator, you know, this is same like how the business model of cryptocurrency in the mining. So this is what we are going. Few strategies that we build in next couple of months. Okay, uh, another one because of actually when you ask first thing, last two years I hate blockchain. I hate Satoshi. I don't like blockchain. I don't like ICO. I don't like many things about crypto because I said crypto is scam. Sorry, my word. But now, uh, I take a very positive that I need to live together even I hate him. <laughs> yeah? So basically, we need to leverage each other. I learned from you a lot, long time ago. So basically, leverage each other. So we want to make and improve the cryptocurrency or blockchain industry. And we launched the blockchain 5.0. Our ICO is start launching today in the system. So uh, maybe we are not popular yet. We just released today. In the next two weeks, uh, we start improve and then the, the, the marketing will start. So what we are planning to raise, I was working in some IPO project before. So ICO, people say the scam, now IEO, initial exchange of rate. That's it's all the same. You said uh, exchanges is like underwriting. Okay, for me, it doesn't matter. So basically, what I'm building the ICO is that, what is the point of my ICO? Uh, do I need to do like yours? I see all last year four billion dollar. Wow, happy! Everybody is support crypto company yours. What yours do? Blockchain three point zero. But do you need four billion dollar to build? You don't need four billion dollar to build the software, right? Okay. So, but we are also asking why Alibaba raised twenty five billion dollar to build the e-commerce. Okay. So, what in our ICO? People say too good to be true. Either we will get the support or not. But we are planning to raise twenty billion dollar ICO. I know it's very very large. People say I'm dreaming. I'm a founder who dream. And even you are not well known. But okay, I just make a try. But our soft cap is five hundred million dollar. Um, at the same time, um, I have some partners like the partners try to talk to us. Um, uh, we'll see what the well, as I said, we never take any equity partners, but uh, uh, I can share uh, and develop together the company. So, but in our ICO, why we raise twenty billion dollar? Very simple. I don't say I need twenty billion dollar to build Adobe. Adobe, I just get ten million dollar, I get the best product. Not ten million dollar, just two three billion dollar. Mister Pai is giving me six million dollar next next month. It's only I can get the best Adobe, and then I can roll out project Adobe software and making money. But why I need a big infrastructure? Because I want to build the ZetaNet and voice over ZetaNet to be a new telco or the internet provider. I need the hardware, the worldwide connectivity using um, existing your computer infrastructure. So basically, I know how IPO works. Private placement memorandum, you need to use the, put your use of proceed. So my use of proceed is building the infrastructure for Android. So we calculate that if we can make uh, the the Zco to 
to disrupt the GSM. I hope this will become a reality. Not disrupt. I hate to say disrupt because I I, I don't like to to I like to improve any things. You know? So this is what uh, we are launching. You can go to our website to get the instruction if you like to participate in the ICO. So we started at 50 cents. So part of this ICO project is to improve the blockchain pipe. So nobody knows about blockchain pipe. We know SEAL is doing blockchain 4. We declare blockchain 5. Uh, I hope, suppose Nigel today call all the press, you know, so I can talk. But never mind, I'll do again. Uh, by next few weeks, we will uh, uh, call a press conference on this blockchain 5.0 to improve the blockchain technology in the community. Then you will have usability of your crypto. You are making your cryptocurrency works that fast internet and the blockchain become the new internet and then there will be, we will deploy a new smart contract too that will ever a smart contract to work in the e-commerce. Your Ethereum cannot work, it's just put money, get token for ICO fundraising, right? But the smart contract too in the blockchain file project, what we call a blowfish protocol, will make the e-commerce to run on blockchain. Send products, get the token. The use of proceeds of the ICO that we are building the voice of the ZNN and ZNN project. So we need more than 100 engineers specialized in encryption, embedded hardware and software to join us, you know. Of course, uh, right now, I only the one person who pay the money in the company. So uh, every month I have to pay quite a lot, you know, suppose I buy a house every month. <laughs> so this is what my wife said, but I said, I'm a gambling. So don't worry, we will get the return, you know. You have seen I make $50 million before, now I make 10 times or 100 times, hopefully. Or more, hopefully more than yourself, uh, sorry, uh, uh, Jeff Bezos. I dream to be like him, but I don't think now, but maybe 10 years, because I believe in the time of this. So basically, this is why we, 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 uh, we built uh, right? Uh, so, um, token distribution, we issue 5 billion token, too much? Yes, okay. How I tell you the secret to you to get the token? So we use the EOS structure. We copy EOS. Why EOS get $4 billion? The first two weeks get $500 million, ICO. Because they program every supply and demand 2 million tokens every, every day. So today, if you put $100, you enter our system, if you only the one who put hundred dollar, you get the ten million token. So this is how we play with the token distribution, and then we expect that the exchanger, the CMC coin market, will be up. So we don't depend on coin market. The strategy is that we push the product, I do it, getting roll out in the market. Next few months, we get people to use I do it for the call. One dollar is enough for me. So either they pay on fiat or they pay in my currency or they pay in this currency. So that will make the velocity of money moving. So it will increase the market cap. So, so this is what the... Uh, Alright, this is my team. And me, Jack. So with that, thank you. So I, I think after this I will invite Mr. Park to sign an MOU. Hopefully Mr. Park can become a new, a new idea of the world of banks. So basically, uh, forget about the technology if you don't understand. We just make the platform or the apps all together. So basically, uh, by next month, our dark currency also offered in trading. So we build our own FT5 trading for our active currency. And also today, our ICO start running. Uh, we also register our ICO in Singapore. We had the process working uh, to get uh, the token to be uh, regulate uh, either they give or not, but we are uh, now run parallel because, uh, as I said, uh, if people like, they just use. So we are not talking about the uh, either we did get the ICO money or not. We believe people will put the money, will buy our service because we can give a very cheap and good service. We can guarantee you that. That's all. Thank you. Okay, Nigel, I pass to you.